Michael with NCY Store. We're going to do an unboxing video of the SSPG 180cc power kit and what's included in it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go and start from the cylinder head cover and work our way to the main crankcase. So here's our cylinder head cover. The quality of it is just as good, if anything, is like Tata. Uh, the only difference I could tell is that the fact that Tata does have it engrave it, but it's still not a nice, almost polished chrome looking. It's very good quality. And then you also have your D ring uh, sealer. The only thing is, I believe Tata has a little niche, a little thicker notch here where I guess it grips it here. But this has almost the same identical uh, casting as uh, the Tata one. So again, this is all SSPG, which is a Taiwanese company, also owns Hoka. So we're going to put that aside here. And the next one we're going to start from that cylinder head is the cylinder head itself. Cylinder head uh, cover, I meant. And here's the cylinder head itself. Uh, very nice quality. It comes with also the blue valve springs. You can see they're all tinted blue. Uh, very good quality. And the intake is always a little bit bigger than the exhaust side. You can see it says EX stands for exhaust. Short for exhaust. And intake here. Okay. And then the next one will be itself would be the rocker arm in this place. Okay, you will still use your wrist pin for your rocker arms because it doesn't come with the rocker arm wrist pin. So you just have the rocker arms itself, uh, the rocker arm assembly uh, housing, but you'll still need the wrist pin, the little pin that goes through here. Again, previously we uh, pretty much upgraded our 150cc to a 171cc, which we didn't have to actually upgrade to the starter. But I do recommend it if you're going to upgrade to a 180cc, upgrade to a, a high torque starter. And then also as well as a high flow oil pump as well as your uh, starter uh, heavy duty starter clutch itself those are like the three main things that you want to upgrade because it's going to take a little bit more power than even upgrading from a 150 to a 171 cc which we've done here you're going to uh, pretty much use your same stator same stator cover of course your housing as well but and you're going to also use the same existing cvt cover your transmission cover that's located back here so we're going to show you pretty much everything all the internal components you can still use the same as your original stock ones but we will upgrade to an ncy uh, cvt kit uh, so you'll see that in, in a little bit here uh, but right now we're just going to go ahead and show you all the unboxing and now we're going to get to the cylinder housing itself and um, with its internal components. You got your five uh, piston ring sets here, RIK, which also, again, is all Taiwanese brand made uh, company. They also make them for Tata as well. So when you buy a Tata forged piston, this usually comes with it on the side as well. You got your gasket, your cylinder gaskets. Keep in mind the paper one goes pretty much against the uh, crankcase itself and your cylinder housing, and the metal one goes in between the cylinder head itself on this side. Uh, and pretty much on the other side of the cylinder uh, housing. And then you got your wrist pin in there as well as your seat clip. Go and see if we can get those out. I have to shake them out. There we go. There we go. It's a 63 millimeter. It, has, it also has an arrow for you to indicate which way it's gonna be facing. So if it's gonna be going this way, of course, you can see the arrow there is facing up and 63 millimeter on the very bottom. There you go. I'll take that out for you. There we go. And the piston ring goes into these areas right here. The squiggly one goes onto the very last bottom one, uh, long in between them. Uh, pretty much, our, you know, the squiggly one in between is going to be the two thin ones. So you got a thick one, and you got a medium thick one, and then you got a squiggly one. There we go. And open it for you. That way you can see the quality of RIK brand. There it go. There it go. It comes with a nice package. You see this quickly one here. You also got a thick one. Let's see if you can see it. As well as you got a thin one as well. See so you got two thin ones right there. And then you got a thick one. And then you got a medium thin one. So pretty much goes there. If you ever need to reference it, you can reference it from your original piston uh, when you take it out. So you can see how it actually goes flows in there. Again, keep in mind that the the paper gasket goes to the side. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to show you where the piston rings is. We'll put that back down. Okay, so it's going to go and sit right here. See that right there? And see how it fits right in perfectly? And then you also got your uh, dowel pins, which goes right into the back of the crankcase. This just fits right in there like this. So 
just goes right in there like that. Okay, and this is going to be for your uh, chain tensioner guide as well. Okay, so we got that out of the way. The next one we're going to look at is also the studs itself. There's going to be a longer stud as well as a short stud off by a centimeter. And keep in mind that the thicker little notch here, it's going to be facing outward for the rocker arms to be resting on. So it's going to be facing out this way. And this one's going to be going inside the crankcase, which is a little shorter. And keep in mind that the short one goes to the left side of the crankcase. And the longer one goes to the long side of the crankcase, which is easy to reference that way. And they're going to flush the same. I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, next, we're going to go and look at, uh, I think some people call it a camshaft. Some people call it a cam gear. It's inseparable, these two. Some people reference it by the shaft itself. Some people reference it by the gear. I just call it a cam gear. A good quality cam gear here. You see there, we're probably gonna upgrade ours to A12. You can see some of the components that we're gonna change out just so you can actually learn how to interchange things or just take it apart. It's gonna be following the same concept. And we're gonna go and start with the smaller one. We're gonna call this the shorter one. We're gonna call this the left side of the crankcase. And that's where a high flow oil pump will sit right in there. And again, this is a B block engine meaning it's going to be a 57 57 millimeter spacing not your stock 54 millimeter spacing even though they're the same length the long case it's just what makes them 54 is the distance between these two where the studs going to be laid out and i'll show you the difference between the studs in just a little bit here uh, why the studs goes a certain direction so let's see if i can face this a certain way to try to get you guys to have a good angle going to face a little bit upside down but that way you can see what I'm talking about as far as where the studs can sit and here goes the last piece here it's going to be our long case nope I forgot to also it comes with uh, all the gaskets uh, pretty much so they're not going to give you a new transmission cover but they will give you a new gasket the reason why is when you take it off you're going to have to replace the gaskets on it because you're going to be putting the gaskets onto the new uh, long crankcase See if I can get this out here. Okay. There we go. It's really nicely secure packaging. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we got this. This is the long uh, case gasket here that side and you can see the difference here we go this is facing the right direction and but this one's facing a little different you can see the difference between for the stud spacing see this one's a little longer in depth so that way we're going to be using the longer one so when it flushes it flushes the same because it's going to take a little bit more longer for it to reach in and then this one's going to be a little shorter in length so it's going to take the same amount but it's going to be a little shorter to go in so that's pretty much it in boxing of what we have here. We are going to get the left and right crankcase. Left and right crankcase. You're going to get your rocker arms. You're going to get your rocker arm housing. The only thing you're going to need back from your original is going to be your uh, rocker arm wrist pins. You're going to get your both gaskets, the metal one. Again, it's going to go in between your cylinder and your cylinder housing. You're gonna get a new camshaft with that, as well as your wrist pin for your piston, as well as the C-clips. There we go. And then you're gonna get a new um, housing, cylinder housing, um, cylinder head housing, as well as the D-ring. So these are all the components that you're gonna be getting with your new 180cc SBG kit. And again, keep in mind, they, they are going to give you gaskets for your CVT cover. Almost forgot to mention that. Okay, so that's your gasket here for the CVT cover. Turn it the right direction here. And then underneath it, it's going to be, you're going to be getting a gasket also for your transmission cover. As well as your, pretty much this is for your stator area here. It's stators right here. The transmission is going to go right here. So on this unit in the back here, it goes right here. It goes before your CVT cover. I don't recommend putting any kind of um, 
gasket sealer on your CVT cover, especially if we're gonna change it. You know, you're gonna upgrade some of the variator rollers or even the uh, uh, clutch, your, your CVT clutch, and you definitely wanna get access to it. It's just gonna protect it from dust. Some people, even for showcases, they don't even, even put like a cover on it. They have it exposed, which I don't recommend it just for the breeze and stuff and for safety. But some people like I just want to show you that you don't really need to cover for any kind of compression, but you do need a good sealant for your transmission as especially all the fluid and stuff like that. You can see here the quality of the bearings that are come with is Taiwanese bearings. See there you go. Very good quality bearings and they come with all the sealants already as well as all the bearings. So you got quite a bit of good stuff here. So we got the CVT cover, you got all the gaskets. CVT cover gasket, I mean, you still have to use your same existing CVT. Your, uh, it's pretty much your stator uh, gaskets. It's gonna be on this whole section here. So I have an overview of everything here. I think this is about covers it. Uh, what you get from your SSPG power kit at 180cc.